This week, the Budget Act swung in the in New York City with proposed cuts to thousands of jobs as well as 19 schools. And there is a primary battle brewing in the race for governor in New York. Joining us this morning is political columnist for the New York Daily News and host of the morning show on WWRL Radio, Errol Lewis. Great to see you. You too. It's been a busy week. Yes, indeed. So we had that draconian cut presentation, and, and uh, there's questions as to whether some of these will stand. Let's talk about some of those proposed cuts, and they include nearly 900 police officers officers, a cut into overtime. You have four engine companies that they're talking about here in New York City and teacher raises cut from 4% to 2%. Will these stand? Well, I'll tell you that um, it's a sign of how serious the mayor is because these are the areas, teachers, cops, firefighters that are normally along with sanitation, pretty much held harmless from budget cuts. And that's because, and the mayor has explained it uh, once in a while, that politically it's very difficult to, uh, to, to cut back on services that people need, rely on, and see every single day. Uh, so this is his way of saying it's for real. Uh, there really are going to have to be some cuts and he, he wouldn't uh, take on a fight over these kind of issues if it weren't uh, a really desperate fiscal situation. What will have to change? Well, what people are going to have to do is get used to the idea that the normal dance between the mayor and the city council just won't work this year. Normally the city council tries to restore the cuts and it's usually around the edges, you know, uh, summer after school programs or, or, or meals for seniors, that sort of a thing. Um, they'll, they'll maybe make them hot meals instead of cold meals, that kind of fighting. This this is to the bone, and we haven't seen this in a generation. And there's a whole generation of people in the city council who have never experienced anything like this. So I think we're going to see a lot of fireworks before we, we, we resolve this. Mm -hmm. Plenty of negotiation going on, trying to make something work with all of this. Screaming and hollering, that, negotiating on the front true. steps of Absolutely. City Hall. Absolutely. Yes. Let's talk about this rare Saturday session that went on yesterday with Democratic leaders from across the state trying to determine who should run for governor. Now, usually you would think the incumbent would be running for governor without a doubt, but this year it's completely different in New York. Yes, well, he's absolutely running. I mean, there's no question about it. I've asked the governor multiple times in multiple venues. He's definitely running. The question is, will he at the state convention have enough support from the county leaders that he can just appear on the ballot without having to go through a very arduous, very expensive and time consuming process and humiliating process, frankly, for an incumbent of getting signatures all around the state. And um, it doesn't look like we know yet the answer to that question. The reality is there are a lot of county leaders who are looking at what happened in Massachusetts. They're looking at what has happened in Nassau County where they lost uh, both control of the legislature and the county executive's position. Likewise in Westchester. They're, they're looking around and saying, you know what, we've got to get serious. We can't take any chances. And um, they have some real doubts about whether the governor can pull it out for them. And they're all talking about Andrew Cuomo. Yes, indeed. Running. And, and so you don't think last minute he might bow out of the race. The governor? Yeah. I can't imagine why. I mean, he's got to get through this budget for one thing. So th there's no point in even going into something as difficult as a budget, especially in this year, as a lame duck. So there's no way he's going to step away. And then also, if you think about it, you know, there's no more interesting job in politics that he's ever had. And he's going to be the governor one way or another through the end of the year. So he's in he's in, in no hurry to, uh, to, to cut his own throat, I don't think. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people in New York City this week kind of feeling a little bit of relief hearing that the terror trials may not be held in lower Manhattan. What happens, though, now it could go in New York still at some other locations. Sure. But certainly quite a bit of pressure from leaders to make this happen. Well, there are a couple of upstate uh, locations in, in some suburban counties, I'm sure, that wouldn't mind getting $200 million and would try and sort of figure it out. Um, the, the reality is um, the, the mayor, by in effect vetoing it, um, was responding to a lot of pressure from a particular neighborhood and the budget costs uh, it didn't work for New York. But for a lot of other jurisdictions, 200 million bucks is a lot of money, and that's what the White House is offering. Errol, thanks so much. Great Thank to you. talk to you this morning. For more, you can head over to the politics and power section of our website, wcbstv.com.